So this experiment will test whether ravens have the ability to recognize human faces and tell who is a friend and who is a foe. And whether a raven can teach another raven that. Okay, let's get started. <laughs> Clever has learned that Zack is a baddie from when he threw snowballs at her. Now, let's try this. Clever recognizes Martin's face and has learned that he's her friend. From her encounters with Gourmand and Danita, she has learned to see them as foes. Good one, Aviva. It's true. Ravens can recognize the faces of friends and foes. But what about people she hasn't met? <laughs> Amazing! Clever doesn't know Koki, but she learned from fellow raven reactions that Koki is a friend. Science experiment complete. Conclusion. Ravens can recognize and remember who is a foe and who is a friend. And they can also learn this from other ravens. Oh, and one other conclusion. Clever is very clever. And hungry again. Wait up! Why are you stopping here? It's bison hide. Awesome. Ravens scavenge food, too. But it's too thick. A raven can't get through the tough hide to get to the meat to eat. <clears throat> oh. Why is Clever howling? Wolves! And they're answering! I think I know what this is all about. She can't pick through the thick bison hide to get to the meat, so she's calling in the wolves to help her. That's my theory. Uh oh Careful, Clever. Wolves are food aggressive. And your theory has proven... Correct! <laughs> clever, clever. Yes! She called the wolves because their strong jaws can get through the thick hide to the meat. Ingenious! Hey, this is another symbiotic relationship where two different species of animals each get something from working together. I see. Clever told the wolves where the food was and the wolves gave her access to the food. They both got something out of it. Just as you said, a symbiotic relationship between the raven and the wolf. And that's not all. Ravens are also lookouts. What do you see, Clever? 